So here we are, we're hitting the trails today uh, with all these manual transmission vehicles. Uh, just, just so that we could get some, some R&D on different various types of product that we offer. Our, our high inertia steel flywheel is one that we've been really working on and really focusing on to help these vehicles out on the trail. Uh, the Center Force 1, the Center Force 2, dual friction, and in one case we've got a DFX. Uh, these guys are going to test our product. We're going to put it out there and see how it does. And if there's any improvements or anything that we need to make, we're going to find out today. So I say let's get in the rigs and hit the trail. This week, um, I am attending the uh, Center Force Adventure Run. And uh, I believe this is the first one, 2021, uh, that they've done. So we're kind of on the in inaugural event. So the Tacoma is a manual transmission, but also has the center force, uh, the, the beefed up flywheel, the, the heavier flywheel. What I've been able to notice from it is I can not coast necessarily, but that first gear got a little bit bigger for me. Um, I'm not forced to be on the throttle or on the brake right away. I'm able to kind of just let the gears work for me. Um, but this is, I love this because it, it gave me just a little bit extra which you definitely feel out on the trail. This is a, a relatively diverse group of, of rigs that we've had. You know, we've got guys running trailers, which is super hard on clutches, and uh, they've been awesome. I mean, you know, with, with a manual in off-road, there's a, there's a higher learning curve, but once you master that learning curve, they're actually, in many ways, an advantage. Um, you can compression brake a lot better, uh, you have better control going up hills, um, you can choose the, the exact gear that you want at the exact time that you want it and go. And that's, that. I, I, I prefer manuals. I mean, most yep. of my cars are yes. manuals, I'm sure. You yes, know I'm, a, I'm a solidly manual transmission guy and it's for a few very simple reasons. One of them is simplicity and the other is the control. There's a lot of tricks with manuals that you, that you can do like especially with the center force the heavy flywheel it's really hard to stall so you can lug it down to like you know four or five hundred rpm and the engine's still running well what that allows you to do is if you're coming down a waterfall or something you can leave it in first gear and instead of being on your brakes you can be on your e-brake and you can pull it up and you can ease down while the vehicle doesn't stall and is still running if you still need to go slow so a bunch of techniques you can do uh, that you can use um, it's just for me there's nothing like having a manual to have that kind of a, a crowd of vehicles, all manual and very dominant and successful. That's what we're looking for. A manual transmission, don't be afraid of those. They are very, very, very capable, if not more capable than an automatic transmission to be out on the trail. These guys had a great time, self-included. Uh, so it, it's, you know, an automatic, it does have its place, uh, but on the trail, there's a lot of benefits to a manual uh, being able to pick your own gear you know you got your engine compression braking coming down the hill and heaven forbid you have an issue the manual transmission can take a hit say you lost all the fluid in it it's a mechanical device it's not going to stop working it will get you home in automatic it relies on that fluid to be able to motivate the vehicle once you lose that you're dead you're done manual transmission mechanical all the way, they get you home.